Hi, and welcome back to the studio. First, I want to let you know that I did post a woodworking video this weekend. So if you've been wondering where are the woodworking projects, I'll have a link to the most recent woodworking project down in the description below. It's a modern desk. It's behind the camera right now because I was just photographing it. I think it's really cool. It's got some really clean, sexy lines. And it was a fun build and really not that difficult. So again, if you want to check out that project, click on the link down in the description below. As far as the painting, I want to let you know that I always paint, or at least in these lessons, on a five and three quarter by seven inch panel. Uh, five and three quarters by seven inch, it's just a little bit more square than the more traditional five by seven, which I like. And you can paint on plywood, masonite, cardboard, really whatever you have. If you'd like to paint on the frame and panel system that I do, you can find these on my website. These are pretty cool because you can make a painting and it's framed and it makes the painting look a little bit better. You can take the painting into your house or uh, somewhere where you're relaxing and look at the painting in a frame and decide whether or not you want to go back into it or not. So again, these are available on my site. I'll have a link to them down in the description below. Now let's go ahead and get to work. Okay, so we're going to paint kind of a stormy sea. This was a landscape that uh, I saw maybe a few weeks ago. We had some stormy conditions here on the Jersey Shore. And this should be, <laughs> I always say that, should be sort of simple. Well, we'll see. And I'm going to start off with mixing a little of the titanium white with the cobalt blue. And I'll be knocking this color way down. I want to get that kind of a gray, kind of monochromatic feel where it's hard to decipher the sky from the sea. And uh, that's looking pretty good right there. It's kind of like a nice gray blue. And we'll lighten it up a little bit more with some of this titanium white. So right now we've got the cobalt blue, the titanium white, and a little of the burnt umber. So that's looking pretty good right there. And uh, we'll grab a brush and start to wash in the sky. I dipped the brush in a little paint thinner, and that just makes the paint go further on the board. I might go right into the shore after this, just to define the space a little. I know I mentioned this in the last video lesson that uh, my printer is not working. Well, it's still not working. And I do have to say it's nice to print out a picture and be able to paint right from the photograph. Uh, so I, I'm not able to do that right now. I just kind of took, took a quick uh, look at the video that was on my phone or is on my phone. And actually I'll run that video at the end of this whole, this whole video. And you can decide maybe you want to take a screen grab from it and print it out and paint from the, the video. I know that, uh, or paint from the photograph that is basically a screen grab from the video. And I was busy putting a paper towel on the table that I use as a, a painting area and now I'm cleaning off the palette knife. So now I'll work a little bit on the, the uh, foreground or, or the shoreline, the beach. And this is a little white with some of the burnt umber in it. I'll grab a little yellow. And we'll put that right in there. I'm going to keep this, this brush, I'm going to keep this to the side. I'm not going to put that in paint thinner yet. Because I might want to use that with the water. And the shoreline is kind of like this, I think. 
there were some kite boarders out there. If you know what that is, it's uh, basically a surfboard attached to a kite. And it was a really stormy day and they were out there. It was pretty impressive. My son Michael does that. I'm, uh, I do a little windsurfing, but no kiteboarding. Maybe one day, but definitely not in the rough seas that we had this day. So I'm throwing the mixture of the, the beach color up here. And uh, it's just the titanium white with a little burnt umber and a little yellow. And I know I've said this before, if you walk away from a painting like this for maybe even like four or five hours, this paint will start to set up and you'll be able to kind of go back into it and put some of those notes of color. So I'll go ahead and mix up something just a little bit darker than this so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. And to mix that color up, I'll grab a little of the blue that I used originally for the sky, put that in there, and I'm just going to put just a few notes of color. And then you can lighten that color up a little bit with a little of the titanium white and add some notes of color right next to it. And I'll always say it, you know, it's just, this is the, the beauty of these small paintings. They're just so casual. It doesn't really matter. And I don't always have... <laughs> What I would consider a success, you know, just that at that first time at the at the painting, it's often I'll go back to it a day later or whatever. But with these videos, I try to kind of complete it because it just makes it easier for the sense of the video. So let's go ahead and and throw some water in here, and we're gonna use that blue that we mixed up for the sky. Put a little more of the burnt umber in it. This is definitely the kind of painting where you want to paint a little, then you want to walk away, you know, maybe five or ten feet and take a look at it, see what's happening. This is the original brush from the sky, and we'll grab some of that paint. Throw it in there. And maybe, maybe just start pulling some of the, the sky down into it, into the water and the water up into the sky. And I wonder if we just throw some pure white in here if that's going to start to look like something. And this is definitely where you'd want to walk away, take a look at take a look at it from afar. Throw this right in meeting that that beach area. I'm going to walk away right now and just see what I think. Very minimal. I think I could look at that for a little while. I like these colors that are happening right here. I'm going to use the brush, this dirty brush, and just kind of pull that together, pull that down a little bit, kind of making the where the water and the beach meet somewhat indecipherable, or at least a very soft line. And now maybe 
I'll pull some white, some straight titanium white into the sky up here. I might do something. And there's nothing wrong with a, a really soft painting. You know, all the lines in this are very soft. And sometimes I, I don't like that, but sometimes I do. So, uh, and then sometimes I just try to convince myself that I like it. And then I look at the painting later that evening and decide I was just kidding myself and it's not good and I need to go back into it. And... That doesn't remind me at all, though, of the scene of the whipped up ocean. So I am going to try to make it look a little rougher with some of that white, some of the white water. And then we can grab some of that gray that we mixed up earlier, throw that in here. I like what's happening with this, this area where that water and the sky meet. And I'll probably try to define, define the beach area a little bit more. Maybe some more. You know, it's kind of fun. You can be almost paint child, childish like where you would kind of do the and just see what happens. Who cares? You know, like if you remember when you were a kid, the seagull would be like a, just a simple thing like that. And waves would always just be sort of like that. Well, that's all right. Let's have fun with it. And I'm going to throw more of the uh, kind of beach color in there. And we'll grab a clean brush. I think I'm going to design a nicer work table. I'll show you what I work on after the video. I'll get a, or maybe I'll just kind of put a still in there. Um, I don't like this color. I just, I was using some of this, this kind of color, and I was going to put that in there, but I want it to be more brown, a little bit more rich, so more burnt umber, a little bit more yellow. And uh, we'll go ahead and mix that up and then throw that in there. So putting burnt umber in this color. And a little of the yellow. Maybe a little more burnt umber. Maybe a little red too, just a little bit of the cadmium red. Take that color, put that right in here. I like that darker gray, kind of brownish color. Defines that a little bit more. This, it's getting a little close to one of those sort of 1970s kind of feel paintings. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> what those look like, but, um, you know, it's maybe a little romanticized, which I don't generally like, but I'm going to, I'm going to walk away from it for a minute and just take a, take a look. So I'm standing pretty far back and I kind of like it. I think, uh, I think I can live with that. So I'm just going to leave it where it is. Okay, well, I kind of like that. 
I mean, I'm going to look at it some more, but I like it. I might make another painting of the same subject and change it up a little bit. I think I'm going to leave this one as it is. These kind of little playful waves, I think they work pretty good from a distance. You can kind of see that stormy feel in the ocean. And really, that's what I'm going for. If I can sort of capture a moment, and you know, it's as much as about capturing a moment in the landscape as much as it is about capturing a memory in your mind. Uh, you know, it's like anything. You, if, you, if you write a word down, you'll remember it. You know, if you write somebody's name down, it's the same thing with a painting. If you make a painting of a scene, you'll remember that moment for a little bit longer than most moments, maybe. So anyway, this painting will be available on my website. Don't forget, you can find the painting panels on my website. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next week in the studio.